Hey everybody, Dr. Rick here. <clears throat> Hope I was going well on your end. Look, I'm not going to be long, but I definitely had to talk about this because it is, you know, just another symbolic or representation of just how throwed off we get and are. Uh, before I do, I want to remind you that we are still in the midst of a fundraiser for Black Men Lead, our Rite of Passage initiative for young black males ages 4 through 30, and we, we work with people beyond that as well. Uh, for our programs with our girls as well, uh, we need your support. The way that you can support the work we've been doing for over 30 years is in the description box. If you believe in the work that I've done, if you followed me for any stretch of management uh, time, you know what I'm about, what I stand for, the work I've done and the work I will continue to do. And you know that it needs funding uh, in the worst way, especially this rite of passage uh, initiative. But anyway, with that out of the way, let me get right on it. Okay. Uh, according to reports, Dave Chappelle gets bum rushed on stage. From what I understand, towards the end of his uh, his stand-up, some guy comes out the audience, jumps on stage and tackles Dave, subsequently getting himself bum-rushed and the crap beat out of him by security and detained and ultimately arrested and charged with assault with a deadly weapon. Now, Here's the part about the deadly weapon. He had a uh, fake gun that was a real knife. I, I, I'm not making this up. He had a fake gun that was a real knife. It looked like a gun, but it had the ability to eject a blade. Um, and so they upgraded it. Now, it isn't clear whether or not he actually attempted to use the weapon the report says that he had it on him well when you make an aggressive move towards somebody and you literally assault them and you happen to have a deadly weapon on you assumptions can be made uh, we're going to leave that up to both sides of the legal system to determine whether he was actually uh, attempting to use it but you were attempting to harm someone while armed um it's pretty much how it turns out. I'll get back to the alleged part of it um, in a minute. But the biggest thing I want to touch on is how they are already framing this as it's Will Smith's fault. It's Will Smith's fault because Will got up and slapped Chris Rock on the Oscars. And so now anybody that rushes, sta rushes the stage is doing it because Will slapped Chris Rock. We really are going to have to do a better job of not being so easily triggered, led, and uh, handed narratives that we run with without any form of critical thought. That's why we stay distracted. That's why we stay misled. That's why we can never focus on anything because everybody is telling us what to think. As long as someone else is controlling what you're thinking, you're never going to be thinking what you should be thinking. You're never going to be focused on what you should be focused on. You're never going to be invested in what you should be invested in. You are going to be centered around something that takes you away from your best self because people benefit from being able to exploit you. And let me be clear of why I'm taking this position. First and foremost, everybody had an opinion about what happened with Will and Chris Rock. And everybody's entitled to an opinion. I, I like opinions. Opinions, in most senses, when it's your opinion that you developed yourself, even if I don't agree with it, the fact that you thought about it enough to come up with an opinion is impressive to me because everybody is now trained to let media hand you the narrative. Two media, two media entities come out and say uh, that... Uh, because of what Will Smith did, now people are attacking uh, people on stage. Okay, newsflash. 
Will Smith was not the first person to go up and assault a comic that they didn't like what they were saying. This isn't the first time that somebody rushed the stage that a performer was on or an entertainer was on and assaulted them and in some cases killed them. Will Smith isn't the first to do it. Yes, it happened on national TV. Yes, it was on the Oscars. Ooh, at the end of the day, what Will Smith did is something that Will Smith and Chris Rock have, has to come to agree with. Will's relationship with Jada is something Will Smith has to work out. You know, I, I'm definitely not the one to be sitting up and telling him, you know, what he should be doing. Uh, but what I can tell you is the fact that we can be so easily handed a narrative and run so viciously and uh, ferociously and intensely with it without any critical thought. Without, I mean, critical thought would say, it was Will the first? Because if Will wasn't the first, then Will isn't the reason. People snap. People can't. People get to the point where they can take it. People have mental health issues and will sit up and say, hey, this is what I'm going to do. Dave Chappelle right now is the most polarizing comedic figure on the planet. He has pushed himself into goat conversation. There's bound to be somebody who is figuring if I pet, if I peg this cat, my name goes down in infamy. You know, uh, John Hinckley Jr. shot Reagan to prove his love to Jody Foster. I cannot think of the guy's name, but the guy that killed uh, God, the guy from the Beatles in New York on the street going into his apartment. Can't think of it. Psychotic break. He was mental, a mental health issue. You get a, you're going to get a lot of those, and they're going to show up. It just so happens that it happened to be Dave Chappelle. It happened to be on the stage. And so all of a sudden, it's Will Smith's fault. You know, can you have some things trigger events? Absolutely. But we need to understand when adults do something, they don't get to blame it. This is the other part of critical thought. When adults get to do something, they don't get to blame it on somebody else who did it before them. Well, you know, hey, he put it like this. This guy, when he shows up in court, is not going to be able to go and say not guilty because I was simply following suit on what Will Smith did. I didn't say anything wrong with it. Will did it. Will got away with it. I decided I wanted to do it. That won't fly. That's not a defense. Why? Because you're an adult. You make decisions. You don't get to use somebody else did it before me as a justification for doing it. So that's the second thing. Now there are those who are saying it was staged. I can't argue with it. I'm not even finna venture off into that. I'm simply saying that if it really, well, I tell you what, they would have to pay me a whole lot of money to stage that because they beat the hell out of this dude. So, I mean, they said they kicked him and beat him for like five minutes. He's got blood coming out everywhere whatever and and a bunch of other stuff you know the, obviously it was an unfortunate situation but let me tell you something there's a lot more that we need to be focused on besides what's happening to these extremely ultra wealthy celebrities because they're not feeling what we're feeling where we're at we are and nobody's doing anything about it so we are going to have to and that's the thing. We focus so much on how they're living, what they're doing, what's going on. Nothing wrong with that, man. Have somebody that's your favorite that's favorite that. But that can't be where your energy is going. That can't be getting to the point where you can't work and do what it is that you need to do. And that's all I'm going to put on that. Uh, as I said at the beginning, at the top of this video, we need your support. We're doing some work. If you're new to this channel, check this channel out. Look at what's out there. There are uh, over 1,400 videos on this channel alone. I have written and published 24 books, I have literally written over a thousand academic articles and tens of thousand prose articles. I have lectured. I have created programs that are actively implemented and being used in inner city uh, neighborhoods in America. We need to take it into the next level. We're losing. We're losing this war and we're losing it in a major way. We need to hunker down. For those of you who know me, for those of you who have been around me long enough, I'm asking you, if you're watching this video, don't pass the buck. 
Don't say, I hope somebody else gives. You're the person that can help. You, that's a mindset that we're going to have to develop, that we don't get to pass the buck. You don't get to ho hope somebody else is going to support it or say the next person will give. You're the next person up. So be that person that shows love and shows support. If you're somebody in a city that wants to work with me in bringing this to your community, reach out to me. I'm serious about this. We have to have a national network that is executing a universal rite of passage if we want to create a universal idea and definition of what black manhood looks like so that we know what to expect from black men so that we can hold black men accountable to something they know they're supposed to be doing. There's too many of the definitions that are real loose on what a man is. It's time to tighten that up. And that's something that we do. I've, I've done that. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna revisit the, 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 five pot, the five Ps of manhood so we can talk about what's going on, what's necessary, what's needed. But on that note, I'm gonna get ready to get out of here, show some love, show some support. But hey, start to think on your own. Don't let them hand you a narrative. Don't let me hand you a narrative. Take what I take and then break it down and see if it makes sense. If it don't make sense, come back to me and say, hey, Doc, I hear what you're saying, but, and I have people who do that. We go back and forth, but as long as it's done respectfully, I'm good. I don't need everybody to agree with me. You can't win like that. Iron sharpens iron. But in order for iron to sharpen iron, iron has to actually be thinking. You can't be coming, giving me something somebody else told you because I'm going to ask you, well, how did you come to it? If you can't tell me how you came to it, don't regurgitate what somebody else told you. That's their thought. What's your thought? You better have one. On that note, I'm out of here. Love, peace.